Hello learners. Welcome to the second video of our Madcap Flare tutorials for beginner series. I am Vibhav Gupta, a certified Madcap advanced developer. In this video, I am going to explain to you how to add content in Madcap Flare and apply styles. If you have not watched our first video and do not know how to create a project and topics, I request you to watch our first video before continuing with this video. I have mentioned the link in the description. You can also read the step-by-step -step instructions on our website techwritersblog.com. The link to it is also mentioned in the video description. This video is created for sharing the knowledge I have acquired through my years of experience. Please note I am not an authorized Madcap Flare trainer. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss the latest Madcap Flare tutorials. To start, let us open the project we created in our previous tutorial. To open a topic, go to Content Explorer and double-click the topic file you want to edit. Now, just like any other text editing tool, enter the text in the topic file. To save the topic file press Ctrl plus S on your keyboard. If you have multiple files opened and want to save all of them at once, in the top ribbons, go to File, hover the mouse over Save, and then select Save All. Now we know how to add content to a topic, but the content we added is plain text. It doesn't look until we apply some styles to it. The look and feel of the content in Madcap Flare are based on the cascading style sheets, CSS, which is used to define styles for your web pages, including the design, layout, and variations in display for different devices and screen sizes. When we created this project, we got a basic style sheet in it. You can find that in Content Explorer under the Resources folder. I will explain to you later how to add new styles or modify the current styles in the style sheet. For now, let us focus on how to apply the styles. Open the topic file that we just created. Place the cursor where you want to apply a style. Select a style from the style window in the right pane. If you do not see the style window, then to open the style window, go to the home ribbon and then select style window or simply press the F12 key. Another way to select a style from the style drop down list on the home ribbon or menu. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus H and then apply a style from the floating style picker window. If you look at the left side of your text editor, you will see something like P, H1, H2, and others. These are your HTML elements. If you want to have multiple styles for different instances of the same element, then you have to add classes to your elements and style each class as per your need. For example, if you want to style the first paragraph of each topic differently than the rest of the paragraphs, you can add a class to the paragraph, P, element, and design it. To add the class, from the Content Explorer go to the Resources folder and then Style Sheets folder. Double-click the styles.css file to open it in the Style Sheet Editor. In the Style Sheet Editor, right-click the P element and select Add Selector. In the Class Name box, enter a unique name for the new class. For this tutorial, I am naming it as an intro. Let's modify some styles for the intro class. I am changing the font color to red to distinguish it from others. Press Ctrl and S to save the style sheet. Let us go back to the topic we were editing. To apply the intro class, click on the first paragraph and apply the styles from the drop down menu or style sheet window. You can also apply the style class by right clicking an element from the structure bars, selecting style class, and then applying a style class to it. If you select some text, you will notice that the list of styles changes. Now the same list provides you with the styles that you apply to text. So, to apply a style to the text, select the text and apply the style from the Styles menu, Styles window. When authoring in Flare using the XML editor, you can also apply styles directly to your content without using a style sheet, which is known as inline formatting or styling. To perform local formatting, modify the style from the home ribbon. However, it is not recommended as it takes more effort and breaks consistency. If you have to make a change to any of the styles, you need to change it to each occurrence of it. 
Don't forget to save the changes. Lists are good to organize your content and provide a simple structure, which is easy to read and understand. There are two types of lists, ordered or numbered list, and unordered or bullet list. Flare allows you to easily create single-level or multi-level, nested, lists. Let us go back to the topic file we were editing. On the home ribbon, click the list drop-down menu and then select a list type. Enter the text for the first list item and press the enter key to add another list item. If you wish to create a nested list, to create a second level list, press the enter key to create a new list item, and then go to home, and then indent items, or simply press the tab key. To move back to a higher level in the list, go to home, and then outdent items. To exit a list, press enter key twice. You can change the list type from the list drop down menu, and then select a list type. In technical writing, we add images to support our content and provide use better understanding of the topic. Flare supports most of the raster and vector image files types. However, for vector images, we need to install a ghost script. You can insert an image in Madcap Flare topic and snip it, and align it as per your needs. To insert a picture, let us go back to the topic file we were editing. Place the cursor where you want to insert an image, and then do one of the following. Either go to the Insert ribbon and then select Image or press the Ctrl and G key or simply, from the toolbar on the XML editor, click the image icon. Another way is, in the XML editor, right-click and then select Insert an image. All these ways will take you to the Image dialog box. On the Insert Image dialog box, on the General tab, in the Select File section, select an image from the folders inside the project. If you want to insert an image outside your project then, Click the browse icon, and then navigate to the image you want to insert. You can preview the selected image on the right side. You can apply the style such as borders to the image, background to the image, margins, position, or change the size. After you are done with styling, click OK. You can also change the size by dragging the image and applying the styles using the style sheet in the same way as we did for paragraphs. When creating content, sometimes we come across data that is best represented in tabular format. To insert a table, in the topic file, place the cursor where you want to insert a table. To insert a simple table, go to Table Ribbon or Insert Ribbon, click the down arrow of Insert Table or Table icon, and then hover the mouse to the number of rows and columns on the grid. You can also insert a table, either by going to the Table Ribbon, and then clicking Insert Table. Ensure that you click on the icon and not the down arrow. Or, go to Insert and then click Table. Ensure that you click on the icon and not the down arrow. On the Insert Table dialog box, on the General tab, do the following according to your need. Select the number of columns, rows, header rows, and footer rows in the Table Size section. In the Table Caption section, enter a caption for your table, select the placement from the side drop-down list, from the Repeat drop-down list select if you want to repeat the caption on every page, and in the Continuation box, enter the text to add when the caption is repeated on multiple pages. In the Summary box, enter the text to make it accessible for differently abled people. In the Autofit Behavior section, select the size of the table to autofit to contents, autofit to the window, or fixed column width. Select the table alignment from the Align drop down list. In the Table Style section, select a table style sheet from the Table Style drop down list, or the table style from a regular style sheet from the Style Class drop down list. To create a new table style sheet, select the Create a New Table Style icon, Create New Table Style. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues to help them with their learning objectives. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon not to miss our future tutorials. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand that authoring in Flare is easy using the XML editor, and if you have followed all the steps explained in this video, then you could add and edit the content and apply styles. Do not forget to save the file. For any reason, if you are unable to add or edit the content in the flare, or you feel the steps explained in this video are incorrect, then please mention it in the comments section.